Renungan harian ini diadaptasi dari buku Renungan Harian Star Bina Warga GKI. Shalom teman-teman, lilin kecil hari ini tentang merangkul musuh dari Roma 12 ayat 19 sampai 21. Eh, musuh kok dirangkul? Susah dong ya? Sebelumnya mari kita berdoa. Tuhan Yesus, terima kasih untuk hari baru yang Tuhan beri. Kami ingin terus belajar firman Tuhan, supaya kami menjadi anak-anak yang melakukan hal-hal baik sesuai firman Tuhan. Ajarkan kami untuk selalu ingat untuk melakukan apa yang Tuhan inginkan, walaupun itu sulit. Dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami berdoa. Amin. See, let me demonstrate. If I smack it hard, it resists my hand. My hand doesn't sink in. Watch. Pretty cool. But watch if I try a softer approach. My hand goes all the way to the bottom. Comes up all goopy. Cool, huh? You know, this demonstrates human behavior in a sort of way. You see, because when we approach someone aggressively, bullying them or maybe being mean to them, it's kind of like, you know, we're coming at them hard and we're going to get a hard response back. But if we try a softer approach, well, we get something totally different. We can receive a soft welcome. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That is awesome. That is so very good. You know, you're getting a whole lot stronger. Yep. Soon, I'll be strong enough to take down Big Bill. Oh, wait a minute. We don't shape up our bodies so we can physically go after people. Here at Shape It Up, our goal is to be fit and healthy. But I'm tired of him pushing me around. It's time to put these muscles to some good use. Well, I believe you're strong enough to stand up to Bill. But it's the strength of your character and not your muscles that will solve your problem with him. Pardon? It takes strength on the inside to do what is right, even when it's not popular. Hey, and you can use this as an opportunity to help Bill. Help him? Why should I help a guy that wants to push me around? This doesn't seem fair. This isn't what he deserves. I know, some things, some things just don't seem fair. But the question we should be asking ourselves is, what is right? I know, you're right. I think this is what Jesus would like me to do. Exactly, because Jesus loves you and he loves Billy equally. This is going to be harder than I thought. Yes, but when we do things God's way, it always works out best in the end. Miss Kim, will you pray with me? Absolutely. Dear Heavenly Father, please give me the strength to do what's right. I know you're not happy when your children hurt each other. I'm glad that Cohen realized he had a better option for responding to his bully. And we often have the same option. It's just sometimes our thinking gets mixed up, backwards, upside down even. We start thinking that we need to repay unkindness with more unkindness. Whoa! Huh. Yep, definitely upside down thinking. You see, Jesus helps us understand that we need to repay evil with good, actually. Whoa! Ah, that's much better. You see, that sets things to right again. Another thing we do is sometimes we think that, you know, we need to be aggressive. We need to protect what's ours and, and force other people to do things our way. Whoa! Oh yeah, this isn't good. You see, but really, Jesus teaches us that we can be strong by showing mercy, grace, and even humility. Whoa! Oh, that feels much better. And we also sometimes think that by hurting others, we might make ourselves feel better. Whoa! Gosh, this is really uncomfortable. But Jesus says that it's really forgiveness which heals our hearts. Whoa! Uh. You see, it might not always feel natural or even like it's going to lead us to where we want to go, but Jesus' way really is better. Banyak cara yang bisa dilakukan dalam menghadapi musuh. Melawannya dengan sekuat tenaga, 
berpura-pura baik agar musuh menjadi lengah baru kemudian menyerangnya. Atau menjelek-jelekkan musuh dengan harapan banyak orang yang akan ikut membenci musuh kita. Tapi ada juga orang-orang yang memperlakukan musuh dengan cara merangkulnya. Yesus Kristus mengajarkan kita untuk mengasihi Tuhan dan sesama, termasuk musuh kita. Bahkan ia mati di kayu salib untuk menebus dosa kita supaya kita selamat dari hukuman dosa. Rasul Paulus lewat suratnya kepada jemaat di Roma juga mengajarkan kita untuk hidup dalam kasih. Salah satunya adalah mengasihi musuh, bukan malah membalasnya dengan kejahatan. Abraham Lincoln memberi contoh bagaimana cara memperlakukan musuh-musuh politiknya yang kalah saat ia menjadi Presiden Amerika, yaitu memberi mereka kepercayaan untuk membantu Lincoln sebagai pejabat pemerintah. Microsoft dan Apple Incorporation berterima kasih kepada Kristen Paget, seorang hacker yang sempat meretas sistem keamanan perusahaan-perusahaan besar dunia. Mereka tidak melaporkannya kepada pihak berwajib supaya Kristen dihukum, tetapi mempekerjakannya sebagai karyawan. Ayat hafalan kita, Matius 5 ayat 44. Tetapi aku berkata kepadamu, Kasihilah musuhmu dan berdoalah bagi mereka yang menganiaya kamu. Mari kita berdoa. Bapa di surga, terima kasih sudah mengingatkan untuk mengasihi musuh-musuh kami. Beri kami hati yang lapang agar kami mampu menerima dan memperlakukan musuh-musuh kami seperti teladan Tuhan Yesus. Terima kasih ya Tuhan, dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami berdoa. Amin. Saya mau belajar mengasihi musuh. Sampai jumpa lagi teman-teman. Tuhan Yesus memberkati. Asyik.